Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to the episode of my playthrough of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the previous video, we got all 30 bottles and completed the final, I think, Sly mission here in uh, the second part of the Contessa's quest of being an enemy. In today's video, we're going to do the Bentley and the Murray mission. The Murray mission is behind us, but we are not Murray right now, so we will be doing the Bentley mission instead. And I'm trying to quickscope people, but I ought to just run. Uh, the Crypt Hack mission is Bentley's mission, and it should be just around the corner. This one is called, like I said, Crypt Hack. Oh, I dropped a bomb on accident. Alright, we're in. To hack the crypt. How are you gonna hack the computers down there when they've got no power? According to General Clawfoot, a uh, mobile energy source is stored at the end of this hallway. Hallway is a pretty kind term for what looks to me like a complex medieval gauntlet of death. Yes. Well, while the idea of jumping down a crypt filled with whirling, razor-sharp spikes might scare me, in fact, terrorized by every fiber, it's the only way to power up that old computer at the re-education tower. Without that thing online, we'll never get at the clockwork eyes or free Carmelita. You're a good man, Bentley. Just make sure those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Why'd you have to say that? If only we had a, like a literal master of acrobatics on the squad. Oh wait, we do. His name is Sly Cooper and he's not doing anything right now. So they could have teamed up for this mission. But instead we have Bentley all on his own doing scary things that he does not like for the sake of the team. Greater good and all that jazz. Thankfully, I am in control and I am an okay-ish video game player. So hopefully we will find success in our operations. I say as I take massive damage. Twice in a row, back to back, massive damage. Uh, wow, there is actually a whole gosh darn ton of things to do. Um, you know, let me look at this little... <laughs> let's look at this contraption with an engineering background and see if this makes any sense. So we've got a central rotating thing and then another rotating th thing. I see an issue. The connector between this like flat bar and the rotating bar on the bottom would have to be a sphere. But I don't think it's impossible to do. That being said, I am just a civil engineer and you'd probably need a mechanical engineer to take a peek at that. So if anyone here knows a mechanical engineer, consider giving it a whirl. Acid battery should do the trick. Just walk close to the electrode and voila! Prepare to be hacked, you knave. So we essentially have like a, a mobile charging port like you'd have for your cell phone when Pokemon Go first came out. Did anyone else play Pokemon Go in 2016? The answer is yes. On uh, most of the planet, I would reckon. Most of the cell phone owning planet played Pokemon Go in 2016. And, uh, did anyone have a mobile charger is a better question. The answer is probably also a resounding yes. Because those were very popular. Uh, I was going to try and tank through this, but I think I'll just shoot it. Those were very popular in the Pokemon Go times, so that's fun to know. You, Contessa. Oh, how many times must you say that? It's not going to happen. I'm dead serious. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. I mean it. I'll get you. Yes, yes, so I've heard. You see, she's dead serious, but if we don't act quickly, she'll just be dead. One down, two to go. I had better not take any damage while carrying this battery to the other terminals. It is, after all, filled with acid. Oh, I... Oh, Bentley's talking. I'm gonna talk over him. So, I have actually had some experience with, like, battery acid. I was cleaning out my closet at the start of 2023 as, like, a, you know, new year, new me organization tactic. And, uh, I found a... Ooh, uh, was that a flashlight? I can't remember what it was now, and if I don't remember what it was, it's gonna make the story sound fake. Let me think, what was it? A remote of some kind? 
It was a drone controller. That's what it was. It was a drone controller. A controller for a small drone. And the batteries had corroded, and it looked almost like salt was on the inside of the battery tray. Like, if you were to, to like, pour salt water out on, on like, the pavement outdoors, on the concrete, and then let it uh, dry, and it would crystallize. That's almost what it looked like. And it was actually pretty cool. I was showing around, like, my family. I was like, guys, check it out. Battery acid. And they're like, get rid of that. And I was like, okay. Maybe I should approach this through your id instead of your conscious mind. It might help to get around your super ego. Hey, that's a bunch of Freudian terms there. I've not read Dream Psychology yet, but I'm going to. Oh! One more computer and I can get out of here! There we go! Hey, hopefully the audio wasn't deep fried for you guys. I just uh, casually jumped into these spikes because I wanted to hopefully salvage the audio in case it was a little deep fried. Uh, apologies if it was. Did not intend for it to be that way. Am I going the right way? The answer is yes, but the camera needs to help a guy out. Stay a little more focused on me, camera. All eyes on me. You know the rules. Anyway, all the stuff Contessa was talking about is uh, Freudian uh, psychology. The stuff about like the super ego and conscious mind and stuff. Sigmund Freud, father of psychology. I have not read anything of Sigmund Freud. Every time I talk about Freud, the audio glitches, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Google it if you're interested. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, the deep fried audio ends here. It's not ending here. We're going to power through it. Just go! Get to the other side! We've got to beat the big boss! The big boss is a triple cannoner, and it is deadly. We're going to need to be very cautious to take it down, uh, or we can casually ignore it and probably end up dying in the process. No, we're good. Why fight it? Don't you want to be my friend? No, you horrible eight-legged cow! No! With that old computer powered up, my work here is done. Fantastic! The Bentley mission has been completed. We are now outside in Prague once again. And hopefully whatever was going on down there that caused the audio to be weird won't continue. I apologize for bringing a lackluster viewing experience to the viewers. I will never financially recover from this. Well, that was actually a joke. It's like a meme financially recover, but I do feel bad that it's a little scuffed. I'm just going to press on, though. Hopefully it won't let it ruin the overall mood of the video. Uh, maybe it was just because we were in a crypt. Crypts are dark and dank, and they, uh, they make it hard to hear. Thankfully, we won't have to worry about crypts anymore because this Murray mission we are going into, right there, tank showdown involves a tank. Fun fact about a tank, it was created by the British and was originally going to be called like a cistern or anything else that holds water because they looked like water tanks, but tank was the decided on term. Hashtag learned it on Jeopardy a few days ago. Who here wants some of the worst vehicle controls in gaming history? I am a huge Sly 2 fan, but holy buckets, do they not know how to make a tank functional. It makes sense on paper, but it is so frustrating to do. I think a better way of explaining it is your control sticks uh, control the treads individually. So, if I want to go left, I stop holding right. Right up and left up control uh, just different aspects of the treads of the tank. You have two treads, obviously you can see them on the bottom of the screen. Left tread and right tread. And if you hold them both together, you go forward. Hold them both back, you go back. Release one or the other, you can rotate. 
it is not, in my opinion, the best way you could have gone about making actual tank controls. Tank controls are, of course, something that are a staple in, uh, in video games. You hear about the infamous tank controls of games like Resident Evil. Um, and they are apparent here as well. But it's, you know, an actual tank. We only need to destroy a handful of tanks, so thankfully we won't be gone too long. You notice they also barricaded the, uh, the castle off, so you can't do anything super, super fun. But we can get some pot shots in across the map! Cross map! Cross map! Oh, darn. I thought I got him cross map. Unfortunately not. Uh, there we go. We'll take this guy out. And one more. Let's see if we can go for a trick shot. Here we go. 360 no scope! 360 no scope! 360 no scope! Hold on, I'm actually gonna hit a 360 here. I'm gonna hit it, I'm gonna hit it, I'm gonna hit it, gonna hit it, boom! <gasps> Clip it! Clip it! That was actually kinda cool. That's the mission. Very easy, very simple. Pretty fun, too. That wraps up, wraps up all the missions we have to do, so it's time for Bentley Slideshow. Hit subscribe! It's time to wage war on the castle! And in the confusion, pull off a heist I've named Operation High Road. First, Murray will take down the spotlights on the main gate with the codes provided by General Clawfoot. Then, with the help of the voice modulator, I'll order Neela's forces to attack. Sly will then paraglide the two of us over to the Contessa's getaway blimp, and we'll use it to get inside her re-education tower. The assault on the castle will undoubtedly draw the shadow guards off their post, and if we free Inspector Fox, she's sure to clear out the Contessa. With the mind shuffler exposed, I'll plant the bad mojo bomb, and presto, the clockwork eyes are ours. So if the two of you are ready, let's take our positions and get this thing started. Simple and clean, just like that. Of course, as Bentley said, closer to the start of the episode, you will need to have the paraglider as Sly Cooper in order to undergo Operation High Road, which we will do at the start of the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for now. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. And I'll catch you guys all back here next time for my next video. Until then, as always, take care.